Kobe Fur. That's right. 40 minutes in, and we're walking our fourth fight to the cage. That's how we do it here at Tough Enough, the future stars of Mixed Mark Fight. We feel you, fight fans. Got a lot to prove when you're on UFC Fight Pass. And these fighters want finishes, and they want to entertain tonight. And Kobe Fur, 1-0 as a professional. Another fighter from Extreme Couture putting his sh skills on showcase tonight inside the Tough Enough cage. One of the things that really struck me about him we asked him in one of our pre-fight interviews, what is something that terrifies you the most? And he said, being away from my family. Aww. And I love that, man. A guy who's that. fighting for his family has got a lot to fight for. And Thank that's you. what Kobe Fur is going to do tonight here at Tough Enough on UFC Fight Pass. I love it. As you said, 1-0 early in his career, cornered by the great Eric Nixick, and you saw Jake Shields in there as well. So not a bad crew to have with you as you step into the Tough Enough cage. Looking to maintain that perfect record, and uh, a lot of people around that Extreme Couture gym say, hey, keep your eye on this young man. And when they say keep an eye on him, keep an eye on him. Absolutely. Also, I like to bet on anybody who walks out to Tupac. That's just me. That's what I do. It's a solid strategy. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I just do it. Team Settle. I mean, if you're countering with some Metallica, though, that's that. Does that help as well? Uh, it, it, it makes me feel some some some, uh, some feels, John. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> James Settle from Bristol, Tennessee, originally. Now fighting out of California. Yeah, three and three is a professional, so you know a little bit of frustration with the 500 mark six fight, especially after he had an incredible amateur career of 12 and two. So I think still trying to find his rhythm a little bit, but you know, listen. That's a lot of experience. That's a lot of, uh, you know, lessons that you've learned along the way to, to lean on to and to get better. And like we said, nobody, he knows nobody it. retires undefeated other than the great Habib never made off. Yet. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> Unless he comes back. We will see. Let's get Who that. Done. Let's get that done, UFC. He's uh, an MMA coach by day, you know, and uh, he knows that his opponent wants to wrestle him, you know. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's seen that game plan that Street Batur does. Is he going to be able to counter it? That is James Settle inside the Tough Enough cage right now. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape as we continue the action quickly here. This one is brought to you by One Nevada Credit Union, and you'll see the massive height difference between the two as well as the massive reach difference as well. We'll see if that factors in the way this one plays out. Let's take it up to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout of the evening is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Tough Enough Bantam Weight Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist with a professional record of one win, zero losses. He stands five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kobe the Dog Bear. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, three wins, three losses. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 and one pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, King James Settle. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Chris Tagnoni. Chris Tyone in there for this bantamweight matchup. Long black trunks for Kobe Fair. Shane Settle, the shorter black shorts. I mean, Settle not even moving. Stoic. Stoic. Statuesque. Statuesque. Here we go. <laughs> Round number one. Oh, oh. Man. Well, was that a low blow? The quickest timeout in the history of mixed martial arts. We are setting records here at Tonight. Tough Enough. Something new. Every single fight. Love it. Uh, Got a little glove malfunction there. Chris Tyone keeping an eye on things. Doesn't want anything impeding the, uh, you know, fighter's ability to strike or possibly, uh, you know, open up a, a wound or a scratch on your opponent. Time in. Hopefully they got a nice rest there early on there for the timeout, <laughs> and they're ready to resume the action here deep into the opening round. <laughs> wow. wow. Quick hands there. And there's the takedown from Fair that we expected. 
drives in, elevates, and slams his opponent to the canvas. Top position early. Settle, rubber guard. And you can hear his corner immediately saying, active guard, active guard. Obviously a, a tough spot there, head against the cage, and Fur is driving the head against it as well. But rubber guard underneath here. I mean, trying to transition, but Fur is just all over him right now. Yeah, just not a lot of room. And you can see Fur staying very compact, doing the right thing there, and, and pressing in there. You can see stacking everything up. So Settle's looking for options, but the fact that he's stuck against the cage, not really giving him a, a lot to work with. Fur just waiting till he feels comfortable with the position and open up a little bit, driving in a couple punches to the body. As you said, with uh, Fur having Jake Shields right there, I mean, he they are in his corner, Eric Nixick and Jake Shields. Jake Shields shouting out commands. I mean, that's somebody who you want to giving you directions on the ground right here. I think you can trust whatever advice he's giving you. Within earshot, that's nice. And uh, we, we see Fur trying to advance his position right now. Settle just stacked up still. Awkward, uncomfortable position for him to be in. Yeah, it really is. Doing a good job of avoiding massive damage. You know, yeah, just difficult but, for him to find anything to really attack with. Yeah. See, uh, Fur step over that leg and now start dropping some bombs. Settle trying to control the wrist there, slow things down a little bit, see if perhaps he can set up a submission. There he is. First corner calling for short elbows. Settle was trying to attack that left arm, but Fur was able to pull it free from the wrist control, and now he's punching away with it. Those are big shots that are landed, John. I mean, big left hands driving in there. With your head up against the, the mat and the cage like that, there's nowhere for it to go, and those hurt. Yeah, and Fair briefly had the right arm trap, so. I mean, he's punching, he's literally punching him back into the cage. A little past the halfway mark here, and Fur is pounding away here. Short punches, elbows, anything he can land. Once again, he's trapped that arm behind and limiting the defense. Here come more hammer fists. You can see he's got that right arm trapped underneath, so that only leaves Settle with one arm. Now he yanks it free, but only left him with one arm to defend with. Settle trying to get the feet on the hips there, create some space, but Fur just steps over. You see he's pinned that right leg to the ground there. And once again, not giving Settle any room to maneuver whatsoever. And here comes some big elbows as well. Nasty shots here. Chris Tyone watching closely. Big if he elbows start and defending, forearms. Oh, wait, watch the back wait. of the head there. Got a, got a warning there, but Tyone right on top of it. Minute and a half, just under to work with. Fair has landed some big shots. Still a lot of time to work left. Well, there really is. And you can see Settle tried to get the legs on the shoulder there. Thought maybe trying a desperation triangle here. Instead, Fair just works right past the guard, takes the back, looking for the choke, He's trying to sink it. Left arm is under the under. Net. Yeah, he did have it under briefly. Settle to his credit, not going away easy, pushing the arms away. But here come more elbows, more shots. In could be near, and that's going to be it. James Settle could not get the dawn away. And another finish here at Tough Enough. Tough fight for him. I mean, real tough fight. Kobe Fur, man, as we said, walking in. The guys from Extreme Couture said, watch this guy. And we did. And he impressed, and you watched it, and he impressed. Moves to 2-0 and as a professional here in Tough Enough at the Circa Resort and Casino. Beautiful downtown Las Vegas. Love it. Crowd loving it. We'll take a look at the finish there. You can see. And again, Kobe Fair looking for the choke. The, the arm slipped under a couple times just briefly. But to his credit, Settle would, could have easily gone away. Didn't. Well, he pushed that arm off that choke and then then found some elbows. Yeah. You know, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Pick your poison. Great game plan from the team at Extreme Couture and Kobe Fur. Flawless execution. And he's going to walk away a victor tonight. Going to walk away with some more fans here on Fight Pass tonight as well. Scales the cage.
Commission, celebrate, you see. Commission's gonna yell at him for that. You're not supposed to do that, but you know what? You're only, you're, you're only, who knows when the next time you can do it. You I live mean, once. I mean, you're feeling it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I do get very nervous when they get up there. I'm like, I hope they don't fall. But then I'm like, oh yeah, they're professional athletes. <laughs> if they fall, it's not me falling. They'll be fine. All right, let's get the athletes into position here. Impressive victory there. Let's take it up to our man, Justin Menard, to get the stops. Ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes, six seconds into round number one, referee Chris Tyone calls a stop to the fight for the winner by TKO, Kobe, the Don Fair. Impressive work there from Fair to move to 2-0 and o in his career. Stick with us. I'd say we have plenty of action left, but we got two fights left. That's how we do it, Tough They're enough. They're going quick. I mean, you that's I how we do. The co-main and the main, though, you know these guys are going to bring it, John. Stay with us. I, I can't wait. <laughs> 